Good morning, everybody. It is the final day. That is day eight of Vlogmica. It's been a wild ride. Not that wild, pretty wild. I've learned a lot about vlogging and even more about the fact that I don't like doing it. But thanks for coming on this eight day journey with me. About to make some breakfast, a little pepper omelet with some sweet potato hash browns. Gonna be delicious. Got my peppers, gonna mix that with the egg, and then I'm gonna cook these sweet potato cubes with the onions to make like a potato hash. Maybe that'll sit underneath the eggs. Haven't decided yet. The best part about breakfast, choose your own adventure. Maybe you're wondering why I'm cooking the peppers in one pan and the onions in another pan, and that's because the peppers are gonna go with the eggs, and the onions are gonna go with the sweet potatoes. I don't know about you guys, but I hate getting an omelet with vegetables on the inside of it where the vegetables are not cooked. My fix to that is sauteing your vegetables before adding them to your eggs. Another tip, you wanna speed up the process to making uh, breakfast potatoes, give them like a 10 minute boil before adding them to your pot. It'll make them soft on the inside and then when you fry them, it'll give this nice caramelization on the outside. Breakfast tips, everybody. I have been spending the last little while creating a menu for this potential collaboration that I have. Uh, it's a brunch collaboration. So I have one, two, three, four savory dishes and two sweet dishes. I've made like menu items for restaurants, but I've never really made a whole menu. So I'm very excited about this. I got the Eggs Benedict Bacon Potato Pie, the Eggs Benedict Quesadilla, Hasselback Breakfast Baked Potato, Steak and Egg Sandwich for the savory ones, and then Peanut Butter and Jelly French Toast Roll-Ups, I know, and Oreo Cookie Dough, Oreo Cookie Dough Stuffed Cinnamon Rolls. These are just a few. I think I'm gonna come up with a few more and then pick like three or four items, two savory, and one sweet. We'll see how it goes. Oh, Eileen just came home and brought me some lunch. I can't wait for the cleanse to be over, but this looks pretty good, right? You said, what did you say they were in these again? <laughs> it's an avocado lettuce wrap. I just had one. Yeah? Three. Three? Well, well there's, three there's three per order. Yeah, they're good. Okay, thank you. Good luck. Thank you. They're kind of spicy. Taste test. So how do you, I guess it's just a reg. Yeah, I mean, I brought it with me, so I feel like it might be a little messed up. You don't really travel that far, though. That's a good thing. People sleep on lettuce wraps. Not physically, but like, <laughs> don't give them enough time of day. I think they're quite convenient. I think they're overrated. These are good. I'm done. Josh Elkin approved. For the plan, yeah. I can't wait for this plan to be over. <laughs> Vlognica, day eight. Last day. Thank God. And before I get into this, I've been waiting for a package. It is the last day, so I bought myself a gift. I finally made the jump and got a KitchenAid mixer. I know it's been a long time. Basically my whole life I've gone without having my own mixer. 
doing dough by hand, making pasta by hand, cake batters, etc. That time has come to an end. Let's see what this box has in store for me right now. I'm excited. This is a not sponsored video, by the way. I just, you know, shout out to KitchenAid. Can't believe it took me this long. So. All right, that screws in, that's pretty cool. Nice Onyx Black KitchenAid. <clears throat> Came, I don't understand why it comes with a white dough hook and a white, what is this? Flat beater, it's a beater. And this obviously is a wire whisk for whipping and a dough hook. Now I did order a matte black bowl with a handle. That's a five quart. They said that the five quart would fit, would fit with the four and a half. So this is four and a half. And I, other than the fact that it's gonna be cooler with black, uh, it has a handle and it's good to have both. So now I have a metal one and I have a ceramic one coming. You can add a sausage maker, meaning you could add a grinder to grind meat. You know, if you wanted to make like really awesome steak burgers, you could do it with that. You could also fit it with a pasta maker, which I'm definitely gonna do. And it's long overdue, guys. I mean, other than the fact that there's styrofoam all over the floor, I'm super happy about this KitchenAid stand mixer. I'm just gonna kind of wrap it up and, and put it away. I'm not gonna use it today, but definitely within the next couple days. That's for sure. All right, last day of Vlognica, day eight. Eileen got home and she, she and I are gonna light the menorah. Vlognica, day eight, the end of Vlognica, forever, never again. It was Josh fun. Josh hates vlogging. I hate it. It was fun. Not really, but thanks for watching. Now back to your regular schedule food programming. What are you gonna make me? What do you wanna eat? <laughs>